What's up guys? So if you're clicking on this video, you're probably interested in figuring out how do you catch a crab, something that you can't really hook because of a hard shell, how do you catch it with a fishing pole? And uh, if you do a search on YouTube for crabbing videos, I'd say the majority, at least 90% uh, are crabbing from a boat with a crab pot, you know, the traditional way, the way you'd see on TV on like Deadliest Catch or something like that. But there are ways you can catch them on fishing pole and you can catch them from shore. So no boat required, no crab pots required, and uh, what is required is of course the fishing pole. So I got a couple of setups here. I just wanted to go over the setup really quick just so you can know what you need before you get out there. And uh, basically you need a heavy duty rod. That's the biggest um, obstacle that some people face when trying to get a crab snaring rod. Um, you need a big bulky rod, something that you don't really use for anything else but crab snaring, and a big heavy duty reel. And uh, I got a couple of setups here. The one I'd probably recommend if you're just starting crab snaring is this one right here. It's pretty cheap, it's under $100, and in terms of crab snaring, that's pretty cheap. My other setup is a lot more. But what it is is a Pissifun Honor 50. I think this runs about 60 to 70 dollars on Amazon, something like that. And uh, I paired it with a Daiwa, or sorry, yeah, a Daiwa beef stick. And this is another cheap rod, 10 foot. I think it's medium heavy. Yep, 10 foot, medium heavy. Uh, basically, the cheapest, heaviest rod you can find on Amazon. And then on the reel, we have braided line. And this is, I believe, 40 pound test, uh, runkle. I think it's eight or nine strand braided line, and I'll leave this one linked in the description below. So, line, the reel, the rod, all linked below. Uh, so if you wanna get out there and do it yourself, uh, you can go ahead and do that. So now you got the rod, the reel, the line. The only thing left you need is the crab snare. And you can make these on your own, but if you're just starting out crab snare, I highly recommend picking one up at your local tackle shop. Uh, you can make them on your own. They're a little bit cheaper, and you can specify them put some you know, quirks in there that you think works better. But the ones in the store also work. Uh, in all of my videos so far, I've never made my own snare. All the videos that I've shot, I've been with store-bought snares. So pick one up at your local tackle shop. And uh, basically it's a little cage with three, with six loops on it, sorry. And I'll, I'll explain how it works once we get out there, but this is the only other thing you need. So without further ado, I'll catch you guys out at the beach. Got one. Well, this is what we're after here today. Crab snaring out here on the beach. And I'm not sure this is a keeper. It looks kind of small. We'll measure it anyway, just, just, just to see. Alright, got our crab gauge. Got our crab and our crab snare. Look at he barely got him there. Any kind of slack, and that crab would have easily come off. That easy, whoop, would have just come off just like that. And we'll measure him here. Yep, too small. But it's a male. He'll be a keeper in a few years. Hope to catch you again soon, buddy. All right, guys, we're back out here in the surf. Today we're at the More Than Fishing Breakfast Day event out here on Baker Beach. And you can see in there we got donuts, we got coffee, we got the whole bit. And we got a bunch of guys out here. Some crab snaring, some, oh, there's Ish. I'm crab snaring, I already got one crab as you saw already. Number 
Look at this. Nice. He's not even on the snare. <laughs> wow. Alright. Another little guy. Another male. Got a good feeling about this one. Oh yeah, I think there's a crab in there. Feels like, feels heavy. Yeah, that feels good. There he is. Ski him in on the top. Oh yeah, I think that's our biggest one so far. Still a little bit small, unfortunately, but hey, we're getting some good action. Is that a male? No, that's a female. So in case you guys are new to crab snaring, these females have a wide, this part is called the apron. These are wide, whereas the previous ones that we caught, they're males. We got a skinny apron here. And in California, we're able to keep males and females. Uh, or as opposed to other states, sometimes you can only keep males. But unfortunately, still too small. We'll toss this one back. All right, well. No keepers yet, but at least we're getting some action. Let's get this back out there. Maybe this will be the one. All right guys, so let me show you what we're doing here today. And for those of you who aren't familiar with crab snaring, basically it's a way to catch crabs from the shore and uh, you don't need any hooks, and actually you're not allowed to use any hooks when you're fishing for crab. So, I have six loops on this cage. Maximum in California is six loops per crab snare. And uh, obviously you want to have the max to give the, you the best chance to snare that crab when he's eating on this bait. So, basically the idea is you cast this out, it sits on the bottom, the crabs come up, want to feed on your, on your bait here. We're using squid today. So they come up, they feed, and then ideally when they're feeding, you bring in that crab snare, you yank it, and then they get snared just like that. So that's why you want to keep slow and steady pressure on that crab the whole time you're bringing in, because any kind of type of slack, that's going to give that crab an opportunity to come off. So that's how it's done. That's what we're trying to do here. We'll get this back out and see if we can get, get a keeper. That's crap. Oh yeah. That looks like a good one. Here's the moment of truth. 
Oh yeah, definitely a keeper. That is almost, it's about almost six and a quarter. Definitely a keeper. So this is a female. Females are legal here in California, so we're gonna keep this one. All right guys, that's gonna wrap it up for me today. Make sure you check out More Than Fishing on YouTube and Fish With Fish. I'll leave them both linked in the description below. And uh, if you're looking to learn more about crab staring, if you don't have, uh, you haven't done it before and you wanna get some more information, make sure you check out More Than Fishing. He holds these breakfast fishing days quite often. Sometimes for crabbing, sometimes for striper, sometimes for perch. And uh, if you wanna learn more, it's a good place to check it out. So thank you guys for watching. And we'll catch you next time.